Welcome to our channel, we are Sylvie and Danny. We've just spent some time visiting Hanoi, which we really enjoyed. Now it is time to explore the island of Kamba, which we did not know we were actually visiting until a few days ago. We initially looked at staying somewhere near the Halong Bay area and somehow we did not realize that we booked our accommodation on Kamba Island. So let's see how it went. We hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow our adventures. Good morning from Kadba Island here in Vietnam, where we arrived a few days ago. We are currently in Bao Puk Hotel, which we arrived yesterday. Initially we booked another place, but when we got there the Wi-Fi wasn't so great and it was a bit too noisy for us. So I decided to move place. So now we're here in this lovely hotel. We've got uh, some beautiful view on the lake and you're right in the center of, uh, well pretty much in the center of Kadba town, which is really good. So it's our first day that we're really going to go and explore. So we're going to get some food, get on a scooter and then go around the island and see what's around here. But it looks really nice from what we've seen already. So this is the lake right in front of the hotel. Katba is one of the largest islands among nearly 2,000 islands in the World Natural Heritage Site of Halong Bay and is the home of the Langur, one of the 25 most endangered primates. So we're having the scooter now only 120 Vietnamese dong per day. Uh, we need to go and get some petrol and then um, let's go and explore. So we made it to Katka Bridge. Beach, it's actually really nice, uh, really nice sceneries. There's a beach bar as well, so we just had a fresh watermelon. Um, it costs around 110 uh, Vietnamese dong. There's also a path where you can actually walk uh, around the coast to see a nice scenery. So we're going to try this because Danny doesn't have his uh, swimming short on him. So we'll come back for a swim tomorrow morning probably because it's only like a few minutes ride and for now we're gonna explore uh, the path we just found. This hotel is pretty cool because it's like blending with uh, the landscape, so it's good. The good thing is we're going to stay here for a few days so uh, we'll be able to come back when it's more sunny and uh, come back to places we really enjoy, so that's a good thing about staying. The rain stopped, so we're gonna go and explore again, so let's go. We call like this place during the uh, evening. Our favorite drinks. 
I got matcha and then he got a chocolate and uh, we've been so lucky here because there's so many restaurants and uh, there's so many vegan and vegetarian options so I wasn't so sure about what to expect here but I think it's, uh, it's been great. So we're here again. Um, so today we decided to go back to a restaurant we found yesterday. Uh, it's called Buddha Belly. It was actually really nice and they do vegan and vegetarian uh, food. We enjoyed it last night so we're going back today. We'll film you the food so you can see uh, what we're having. And then we're heading to the national park after. We're renting the scooter again. And uh, we'll have about 18 minute drive. So let's go and have some food, get some strength and then let's go on the road. So we both ordered the uh, vegan burger because Danny tried it yesterday and it was really good. Mm. All gone. Oh, that was good. Second one in two days. <laughs> <laughs> the food was excellent. Uh, now we're getting ready and we're heading to the national park. So we just made it to the national park. Probably it took about 20 minutes, I would say. I think so. About yeah. 20. Uh, we bought two tickets, which is 80,000 each, so 160 in total. And we can also in, um, access another cave on the way there, uh, five minutes away from here, which is cool. So wish us good luck. <laughs> it takes between uh, 45 minutes and an hour to go up. So let's see. This is when it gets a bit more difficult. So we stop at the uh, first stop. <laughs> yeah, we're just sweating so much. Um, the viewpoint must be the other one, which is another 500 meters away. Um, very tiring so far because. Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably with the humidity and just a few days ago, we went uh, up the uh, Muat Cave, which was like, well, a thousand steps going up and down, so we could still feel our legs. Maybe that wasn't the most clever choice to come today, but the weather doesn't seem to be so good in the next days. So. But we're just having a small break and then we'll get going. About 100 meters left. I'm sweating so much. The view is worth it though. I need to keep reminding myself. This point is so difficult and it looks like it's even more difficult to go down. We're not at the top yet, but look at this already. Beautiful. So hard though. We made it. You can't beat the views. I'm not gonna lie, it was really hard for us because we're not used to stuff like this but once in a while we decide why not and every time we're like really exhausted but then once you get up the top so it's worth it so really proud of ourselves that we did it you know and uh, really enjoying the cheese now The Cat Balango, one of the most endangered primates actually live in Cat Ba National Park It has been reported that there are less than 70 of them left in the world so unfortunately we have not seen them during our walk in the national park.
over here at the at the cage now. I'll put the name on the screen. So the cave is about a minute's ride away from the, uh, the national park that we've just walked there. So uh, let's go inside and have a look. You ready? Oh wow, look at that. So we're going inside that, I, I'm guessing. Wow, let's see them. More steps. How many do you think? Let's have a look. Just uh... It's quite a big cave, uh, we were expecting it to be a bit smaller and uh, it's quite big to be fair, especially can we just, because we can just walk around on our own and stuff, so pretty cool. So it's our last day in Kadba, so we rented the scooter for it again to do our last uh, kind of like road trip around the island. We just stopped at this restaurant called Casa Bonita. Um, so we're gonna have some food now. They've got a vegetarian and vegan meal as well, and local local dishes. So that's it. Any good? A little water now, yes. <laughs> that looks good. We're having some cheesy balls for starter. I think it's cheese, potato, and herbs. Okay. <laughs> It's been a while we had something like this. Mm. Not really, no. Yeah. This is mine. Wow, tofu and tomato. That looks good. With some steamed rice. What are you having? Poached eggs, rye bread, and a bit of salad. Cool. Our video exploring Howland Bay is coming soon, but in the meantime, check out our video for the moonbeam.